It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. Joy right there. What's up, everybody? So uh, thanks for tuning in. We are having some fun down here in the new live studio. And I thought, what better to do than to go live for Free Game Fridays and uh, talk about the stock market and see what's going on? Because we had a crazy, um, I don't know, it was a crazy interesting day today. So Thought we would pull up some charts, chat, hang out in the new studio with the logo and all that good stuff behind us, and um, we'll give it a test run and have some fun all at the same time. So let me know in the comments where you're joining us from and what stocks do you want to see, because uh, we'll pull it up and we'll talk about it. But uh, while you're doing that, man, the stock market got smacked today <laughs> got smacked domo worldwide says i hope everyone had some nice put options today because the market got hold on Here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> just got beat up today uh but we kind of saw this coming so i don't know if you're not watching the charts if you're not reading the charts man i'm telling you um you getting smoked, I guess, if you're not if you're not paying attention to what's going on in the market. Um, so let's just take a look. So Domo, thanks for checking in with us. Let's take a look at what happened today. And then again, if you got some charts you want to see, let me know. We'll pull it up. We'll vibe. Dwayne Bentley checking in from Philly. Thanks for hanging out with us, Dwayne. Um, so let's go take a look at the S and P uh, 500. Let's just start there, and you can see that um you know the market here let me just make this full full screen there we go then we can get the whole effect here but the market just got totally beat down today um not only did it gap down but it just continued to sell off all the way to the end and you really can see too where we had this huge volume right here so the selling didn't like slow down and like, ah, maybe we'll go back the other way. This bad boy bounced ran right up to resistance and just. But the real question is, here's the real question. At least here's the question I got. The real question is, is the market going to break uh, this support level right here? That is the real question because we've gotten down here and we kind of bounced and now we're back down here again. So the real question is, is it going to break that support level and just totally plummet down? That's what I want to know. Now, let me adjust my screen. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Are we going to uh, break down below that level? Today's Friday, so the market's not going to be open tomorrow. So we'll have to wait and see what happens Monday. But if we get a breakdown below um, that level where I just drew that support line, I think it's going to be trouble. Uh, so let me let me do something real quick. I got to fix my screen and um but let me know in the comments you think it's gonna break down below i see some of your stock ticker symbols coming in 
I'm going to pull those up. And again, just bear with me. I am testing out the new studio. So I am making sure I hit all the right buttons. If I notice an adjustment, I'm like, oh, I got to fix that because I don't like how that looks. So you're kind of vibing with me as well as hanging out with me while we're testing out the new studio. So give me, let's get some music in here. Give me like 60 seconds to fix something. And then I'm going to pull up these ticker symbols that are coming in. Um, Dwayne said Tesla, the Triple Q's, the Spy, Royal. We're going to be looking at all those in one second. Bring the music back. I tried to get closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move Ooh, I can taste it The bitter sweetness of taking a shot Can't we won't worry about it. Try to focus on breathing. My heart is getting a beat. Your lips are just a ah, okay, that's gonna mess us up. All right, all right, we back. I can't fix it on the fly, but it's all good. Ooh, I but I got us, I got us. Don't worry, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Just enjoy the vibe, put some stocks in there. <laughs> Mariah, want to look at the spy? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, all right, all right. We back, we back. So let's take a look at some of those symbols that you guys put in there. Thanks for bearing with me again. We're hanging out in a new studio, testing some stuff out. Um, but I'm loving it already. I'm loving the new, the, the whole ambiance of this thing, which is going to really allow us to live stream bring you the game and uh bring it to you in a high quality manner all right so let's kick it off first uh, my man Dwayne, let me throw you up on the screen so Dwayne said let's look at the uh tesla let's look at the triple q's and let's look at the spies let's do it Dwayne. let's look at let's start with let's start i don't know if we're gonna take all three but let's let's give everybody else a chance but let's start with our good friends at tesla um, what's interesting about Tesla today is that Tesla tweeted that they just delivered or I guess put in the first order for the Tesla 18 wheeler truck. And I believe they said they're delivering it to, was it Pepsi or Coca-Cola or one of those companies, right? And so you would think that would be good news and the stock would just boom to the, to the ceiling. But I think the market just yawned at that. Like, look, we done with you and your tweets and your shenanigans, um, and we got a bam, nice sell off. Now, if you look at what's happening, we were talking to our members about this. And I mean, I want to talk to you about it, too. You can see back here, we kind of had this quad fupal top on Tesla. Right. So you have one, two, three, four times where it hit. If you look recently, we had a very similar um a very similar thing happened. You can see where Tesla kind of quadrupled or tripled out. Boom, hit once, hit twice, three times, four times. And so we we were talking about how this would be a good time to buy put options on Tesla. So I know a lot of our members, um, you know, knew about this and saw this, but we expected this sell off to come. But now we're once again at a pivotal point where we have to ask the question, now that Tesla's down here, what do we think is going to happen now that it's near support? And the real question is, is it going to get down to support and break it? That's the real question. Because you can play with this line and say, all right, so ultimate, like short term support's right there. But the ultimate support is about right here at about the 210 level. Real question is, what's going to happen once we get down to the 210? Is it going to break or is it going to bounce? Now, I'm anticipating that they're going to miss Q3 earnings. And the reason that I'm anticipating that they're going to miss Q3 earnings is because they already said they missed Q3 deliveries by about 15,000 cars. Now, I did the math on this here. I'll do it on my uh, iPhone here. If you think about it, 
if they said they're going to miss by 15,000 deliveries, 15,000 deliveries, if you say that's about, I don't know, let's just say average $50,000 a car, car, truck, whatever, that's $750 million that of revenue that is going to get missed out of that quarter. So it's a good chance that they're going to miss Q3 earnings by almost a billion bucks, at least from a revenue standpoint. And then you'd have to back out whatever their number is for profit. But I think that's going to be problematic for Tesla. And so for that reason, um, I think the bears. Yep. Yep. I think the bears are back in town. I think the bears are going to continue to eat their lunch, uh, at least for the very near term future, especially when earnings come out. I don't think it's going to be that good. Not when you told me you missed by about 15,000 deliveries. That's a big number. So, uh, so Dwayne, that's my thoughts on Tesla. Let me know if that helped. Let me take the next one, my man, Royal. And by the way, you guys can see each other's comment, but let me just make sure my on-screen comments are working and they are. So you can see exactly what I see uh, at the same time that I see it technically, right? All right. And so uh, you can see Dwayne, we answered your Tesla one. We'll double back on the Q in the spot. Let's go to Royal, um, dollar sign MA and dollar sign MO. Is that MasterCard? Let me see, because different software um, sometimes they don't use dollar signs. So confirm if that's MasterCard for me. Um, at least I'm going to take that as MasterCard. Yeah. Cause somebody else is putting dollar signs in too. So I'm going to confirm that I'm going to go with MasterCard. Let's take a look at MasterCard, my good guy. All right. So our good friends at MasterCard are right here. Uh, this is, the problem I have with MasterCard is it already broke support. So if I were to extrapolate support straight across from here, and let's just say we moved it down a little bit, you know, let's just give it a little grace and brought it about to about right here. Actually, let's move it up, make it touch. Did y'all see what I'm doing? I'm trying to make it, make sure y'all can see this here. Let me make it bigger just so it looks as big. Oh, no, it looks good on the screen. You guys can see this. All right. So you can see support right here and right here. So if you come back to present day though, and you can see all the times it hit support right here, right here. If you come back to present day, uh, you can see that MasterCard has officially broken support. You can see it broke about right there. So MasterCard is below support. It ran back up. And now we're getting a lower high. You can see that a couple of times, right? You get a boom, a lower high, a little pop, lower high. Didn't quite get back as high as it did before. Lower high, another lower high, and then a lower high. So that starts a new trend, which if I were to just loosely draw that, the trend is down. And so I don't trust it. I don't trust it bullish. But if there is any good news, if you wanted some good news, here's the good news. At least it's on declining volume. So it didn't really get a huge bearish spike in volume of people rushing towards the door to get out of the stock. But bottom line, it's in the downtrend. And so it's in the downtrend, so I wouldn't go bullish, but I also wouldn't be as confident going bearish because the bears didn't really pile into it and start selling off as if they hated the company. So I, for that reason, I would just... I think it's a pass, right? It's not, I don't see a good investment. I don't see a good trade. Uh, so I'm going to pass on that. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Autumn says Meta. Let's look at Meta. We haven't looked at Meta um, in a while, which is our good friends at Facebook. And I jokingly say our good friends because the stock has not been a good friend to you if you've been an investor in it. Just look at this trend. Ever since they've split, I mean, it's just... I don't know. Life has not been good for Meta. So you can see right here, um, this company's definitely in the downtrend. There's nothing to argue about that. And then if we scroll in and get really close to what's going on, we're sitting at an inflection point. And so that's going to be the case with a lot of these stocks, which is going to make next week pretty interesting. The question is, does Meta 
break down below this support level. Everything kind of sold off to, you know, the longer or medium term support. Question is, is it going to get smacked down? I don't know, but I'd be waiting to see um, what's going to happen next week. If we get a smackdown, I think it's a good chance that Facebook falls and comes down here to about 118, which, I mean, this stock, I don't want to say it's getting cheap, but it's definitely getting to a price where you're like, man, how much pain can they take? But one of the things I've noticed, let me know if you've noticed this as well, guys. With Facebook, I'm, I'm using Facebook, I'm using Instagram. One of the things that I've noticed and let me know if you've noticed this, is that Facebook has a lot of bots on the platform. I mean, if you follow me like on Instagram, by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should. Why not? Let me step over here so you can, so you can see it clearly on the screen. There it is. There it is. All right. Um, if you don't follow me at Instagram, check me out at Brown Report. You should be able to see it right there on my shirt. <laughs> um, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out. But my point is on Instagram, there are so many bots. There are so many fake accounts that keep popping up almost every day. They steal your pictures, they message your followers, and they try to pretend to be you. And so what I'm thinking is how much money is advertisers that they're spending is going to fake accounts, is going to robots, it's not even going to reach the followers and the people that they set out to reach, thus driving their uh, cost per conversion down. Not to mention that the whole Apple smackdown where you can't track people anymore through these apps kind of bit into Facebook's retargeting and all their algorithmic advertising shifts. And so I, I just, all of that just kind of, it's bad news for the company. And then they're focusing on, you know, the metaverse, which I can't think of a worse time to be launching some something unnecessary because nobody, I wouldn't say nobody, but at a time where interest rates is high and a time where people may be losing their jobs and paying more for food, cars, gasoline, everything, I don't think anyone's like jumping out their seat and saying like, I want to pay for some goggles and go hang out in the metaverse. Like, I don't think that's the first thing that's on people's minds right now. I think people are thinking about maybe saving money right now. Um, and also maybe thinking about what things can they cut or let go. I'm not sure that they're in the mind frame of like, can't wait till this metaverse come out so I can jump in there and hang out with my friends. Um, so most people probably drive, working a second job and getting ready to drive some Uber or something so they can pay for these high price foods, inflation, etc. I don't know. I don't know. But I just... If the metaverse was supposed to be their savior, maybe down the road, but I don't see it saving them this year. So they're going to be spending a bunch of cash trying to get the metaverse up and running while the rest of us are not that interested in putting the money behind experimenting with whatever's in the dang old metaverse right now. I don't know. You let me know. What do you guys think about the metaverse? Is the metaverse popping or is it not? Is this is this where you want to spend your money? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me see here. We got, boom. okay, so here we go. Now it's better. All right, so let's see. Um, Autumn, we just talked about Metaverse. Mar Mariah, is it Mariah or Maria? I'm going to go with Mariah. Mariah, uh, want to talk about the spy. Domo says, tanking on Wednesday wants to fit. Oh, yeah, the fit. is the Fed speaking again next week? So I wonder if this is going to be another interest rate hike. If so, man, look out below. Um, Dwayne says, AMD, Red Man, the spot's been good to me. What up, coach? What up, Red Man? <laughs> um, let's see, Jerry, yeah, I see you. I see you, brother. Um, MasterCard and all, so AMD, all right, I think that's two for AMD. Vivian, welcome to the party. Uh, let's go, AMD. Let's go, AMD. Um, yes, hit the like button. Let's push this out. Um, hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. In the meantime, Let's go to AMD. All right. Let's take a look at the good AMD folks um, and see what is going on there. Mariah. She said I'm pronouncing it correctly. Perfect. Um, a ooh, AMD got the double smack down today. I mean, they, ooh, uh, right? Just, <laughs> whoa, look at the volume on this bad boy. All right. So, Smackdown City, gap down, crap down. Stock just boom, boom, 
kept selling off. Big volume, which lets you know what? People was just like, pile rushing for the door, all right? And so when people rush for the door like that, that is not a good thing. That is not a good thing. When you see that volume spike, people like, deuces, like I'm out. I want out of this stock. And so once again, the bears are in town. The bears are in town. And this, yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good. Um, and then look at this stock from the time. I mean, it's it peaked out back here. Guys, this is what you call a downtrend. If you don't know what one looks like, let me spell it out for you. Bop. And then bop. If you don't know what a downtrend looks like, there it is, right? Downtrend on AMD um, looking horrible. I mean, horrible. And it's consistent, though. I mean, if you look at it, it's like boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And this is what we call and what we teach is a predictable, repeatable pattern. Once you learn how to identify the predictable, repeatable patterns, you see your opportunity to pounce on the stock like a rat on the Cheeto and get an opportunity to make some money. So AMD getting murdered. Um, right now, if I had to pick or guess how far could it fall, um, at least to 48. So we're talking another potential 10 points down before I would say, um, you know, close out the puts because you can see we get down to this level and then we get the bounce and we get the move up. So I'd be careful. Uh, anything past 10 more dollars of a drop, I'd be careful. But we might get that 10 point drop as early um, as next week. You know what I'm saying? So. Because if the Fed is speaking Wednesday, that's probably an opportunity where the market is probably going to continue to tank and go down. All right. So uh, the Raven boy said, glad you put that three different Instagram profiles. Hit me up front like it was you. Yeah, I know, man. Like the Instagram fakes be crazy. Vivian Parlor, welcome to the party. All right. So... <laughs> All right, so let's go back up. I know a couple of other stocks were asked that we can look at. So we, we already did Tesla. We did MasterCard. We did Meta. We didn't do the SPY. Let's go ahead and look at the SPY. I mean, the SPY is pretty much just like the S&P 500. It's getting smacked down. Let's take a look at it. Um, the SPY as well as the S&P 500. I think I talked about this already. We already wonder if this level is going to hold. You can see we got this level of support right here. And so the real question is, is this going to hold? And I I would argue it's probably not. I mean, you can see when we build these little bases, smack down, little base, smack down, little base and the bounce, we're probably due for WWE to come through and just smack this bad boy down. And so I don't trust it. I don't think it's going to hold. I think we know for sure we got at least two more interest rate rate hikes. And I don't know about y'all, but I filled up on gas the other day. Gas was going back up. I'm like, why am I paying over $5 again? And that's for premium. So if you don't get premium, maybe you're still under 5 But for premium, I was over 5 Why is that important? Because if I'm over 5 on premium and gas is going back up. That was the one thing we was hoping to bring inflation down. So if gas start creeping back up and food and rent is sticky, then our inflation numbers are going to be bad again when they report them, which is not good news for the consumer. Because think about it, guys, the less money that people, the more money that people have to spend on necessities, you need a place to live, you need food, you probably need transportation. If you got a job where you got to take the kids to daycare, you have to buy those things almost no matter how much they cost. So then what happens is your discretionary income starts to shrink. Does that make sense? Your discretionary income starts to shrink down. So the money that you have for a new iPhone, you're like, mm, do I really need a new iPhone right now? The money you have for a new Tesla, for a new car, you're like, ah, do I really need a new car right now? So all that money starts to shrink. In fact, let's take a look at the stock Apple. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. And then let's take a look at Apple stock since I just brought up the fact that you probably have less money um, 
for Apple, which is funny though, because I just bought a new iPad and a new Mac, but it's part of my business. I want to make sure I can live stream without lagging and control all this stuff that is used to produce this type of show. But I'm not the average person. The average person is like, do I need a new Mac or do I not? That's all I'm saying. Let's take a look at Apple stock. Wait, can I get my sip of water? Let's do it. All right. All right, we're back. We're back. Brother was thirsty. All right, let's look let's take a look at our good friends Apple. All right, this is free game Fridays. We just giving out free game Friday. Uh Apple it's been another one that's just been in what I call a tank mode. You can see we had this quad fupal top again. That's that's my own term. If you hear somebody else using it, you know where they got it from. Quad fupal. All right. That's four times that this thing effed up once, twice, three times, four quad fupal top. Tried to break through. It was like F that and turned around. Right. One. Two, three, four, four times that this thing just got smacked down, um, which is interesting. I was talking to someone who said they bought Apple up here, and I was like, ah, I can tell you don't know how to read charts. No disrespect, but you need the course, because if you did, you would have known that you should have been selling your Apple stock and not necessarily buying right there. And so we get this smack down. Now, here's the question that I know is going through people's head. So Jason Brown, Apple is down here near support. So that means I should come in and buy it right here, right now. Here's why you got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Here's where you got to be careful, all right? Because, uh, oh, Vivian said her internet is going in and out. Okay, I hope it's your internet and not mine. Everybody, let me know in the comments. Is my internet booming? Is it smooth? Am I live streaming with no lag i think i am i don't see any problems on mine i just want to confirm though because again i'm testing out a new setup I just want to confirm it's vivian not mine um so let me know in the comments just type um good you good or type platinum perfect something to let me know the live stream is just it's firing on all cylinders all right okay my man Dwayne bentley said it's smooth all right Good. Well, Vivian, we go pray for you because yeah, your internet lagging, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's the that's the choice we face with, right? Do I pay for faster internet with inflation, or do I just kind of deal with a choppy internet? Uh, you know. So Domo Worldwide said the stream is smooth so far. So I think we smooth. So yeah, it is my girl Vivian. Let's all say a moment of prayer and silence for Vivian's internet. All right. If the good Lord sees it fit, he'll speed it up. If he doesn't, then call Comcast or AT&T because they're not religious and they wasn't listening to God and they didn't speed up your internet, Vivian. I'm sorry. Just joking. All right. <laughs> so here's the thing. People look at a stock like Apple and it's like, all right, so is it time to buy Apple right here, right now? I'm going to say the answer is no. And here's the reason why. Okay. The reason why is that you can see increase in volume as the stock starting to sell off. We also got earnings coming up. I don't know that people are just rushing to the door to get an iPhone 14. I mean, it don't seem like it's that much different from the 13. All right. The new Max. Okay. I do like the new Max. I picked one up, but I use it for business. But if a lot of people don't have a lot of pleasure money, they're like, mm, how about I keep the Mac I have and see if I can stretch it out another year or two. Do I really need to spend three, four grand on a new computer right now? And so you can see Apple still has some way to fall. Ultimate support is down here at 130. So from where we're at, from 140 to 130, we still got 10 points that the stock could potentially drop before it even finds a base or finds support or short-term support. So, yeah, you got to be careful because sometimes people will say, it's time to buy right now. And you'll say, well, why is it time to buy right now? And they'll say, because it's a good company. And it's like, yeah, that's not really, that doesn't work in the stock market. Like the market doesn't care that it's a good company. If there's inflation, if there's support and resistance issues, if there's Fed speak, if there's employment issues, like even good companies go get <laughs> smacked. 
<laughs> even good companies gonna get smacked um, when things aren't going well with the economy, inflation, Fed speaking, interest rates raising. People can't buy houses. People can't move out of their houses because they can't afford the next house they go move into because they don't want to give up the three percent rate that they locked into. Now nah, it's just catastrophe. It's just a big problem right now, which means. Should we bring the bear back? Because mm, this freak, this, oh, this, just okay, okay. Mm, just simmer down, simmer down. All right. Point is, the bears are back in town, and they brought their suitcase. They brought some friends. They brought some cousins, and um, I don't think they leaving for a while. Is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't. I don't think they leaving for a while. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Is the Bears leaving? I don't think they leaving for a while. Maybe let's do a couple more stocks, then we'll wrap this up. I'm having fun. Uh, I'm glad that I can stand in the new studio. And, um, you know, man, it's just more energy when, versus when you're sitting down in the chair doing this stuff. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to crank out and bring more YouTube lives and conversation to you. So... What are you guys thinking about the market? Any other stocks you want to see? We'll wrap, then we'll wrap up. Let me know in the comments. By the way, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We'll throw a little reminder up on the screen. If you don't follow me on Instagram, step over here so you can see it. Ah, I put it on my shirt. Mm, all right, go and hit that button. Follow your boy. On uh, Instagram, my man Red Man said, "Loving the new setup. Um, thank you. I plan on having a ton more fun with this bad boy. Um, we just getting started. We just testing it out today. First round draft pick is today. All right. Um, Dwayne Bentley want to look at the QQQQQ, and then Duna four one zero want to look at um, Tilray cannabis." Duna, do you smoke weed? Want to look at weed stocks? All right, let's do it. Let's look at the triple Qs, which is going to be similar to the SPY or the SPX. So the SPY or the uh, SPX is the S&P 500. The Qs are going to be very similar, but let's take a look at it. My man Domo Worldwide hit me with the super chat. I don't even have a horn. Where's the horn? Hold on, Domo. I got to bring the I got to bring the horn in for you, man, because I appreciate that. Where's the horn for that super chat? Let's find it. Let's. There, there it is. There it is, man. Hey, I appreciate the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate the super chat. Uh, let's do it. All right. Doing it like, no, nah, I don't smoke no weed. All right, because you got 410 in your name, which is like 10 points off from being 420, which is like National Marijuana Day. So I ain't know what was up with that. So let's go QQQs. Let's go Tilray. Again, thanks for the super chat. Um, we dropping free game, free game Friday. So every donation or just watching the live stream and watching the ads, it all helps. All right. Let's look at um, the QQQs, triple Qs, similar smackdown to the uh, SPY and the S&P 500. So if you look right here, very similar smackdown. I'll try to zoom in on it so you can really see it. Um but very similar smackdown to where support is right here at, I don't know, about 270. And so the question is, is it going to break the 270 area come next week when the Fed speaks and they talk about raising interest rates once again? Um, is it going to just what we call S the bed, crap the bed, just boom, break. And then we finally see the final capitulation of the market get pushed down. That's possibly what we might see as early as next week. Probably more bearishness. Um, so it might be a good time to get the dump trucks ready, see if we can make some money to the downside. But triple Qs, again, if you look at the SPY or you look at the SPX, see how they're all sitting there. Here's the SPY. Um, and then here's the SPX. They're all, you know, sitting right at that kind of support level where we're curious if it's going to smack down and break down. So same thing with the triple Qs. If you don't know, the triple Qs is a the uh, Invesco QQQ, which is a, basically it mirrors the NASDAQ, which is 
you know, the tech stocks, the tech sector, the tech industry. So, ah, let's look at Tilray. Let's look at some Mero Walna stocks. T-L-R-Y. Um, is that still the ticker symbol? T-L-R-Y? Because this is not coming. Oh, you know what? I got it stuck on indices. My bad. There we go. Tilray. Boom. You know, Tilray has been a disappointment ever since all the weed stocks. If you really think about it, this is why, you know, when people gamble, they like, I heard marijuana was going to be the next best thing. Those are all the people who bought right up here at 70. And the next best thing is now worth $3.17. Okay. So the next best thing, weed is the future, all oh, this and that. The reality is <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody um, cares, right? I mean, it's, uh, you know, you got the street people taking advantage of the marijuana, and then you have uh, oversaturation of product in the market. Um, and now you got a stock that was once 70 bucks that's now down to three dollars and twenty cents and just the moment you get excited about it we get an explosion of 378 368 we get an explosion back down pretty much almost wiping out the previous day's gains so it's like this is a penny stock under five bucks which means it's very close to going out of business i'll let you in on a little um secret the closer the stock is to zero the closer it is to going out of business, right? So the closer it is to going out of business is typically a stock that I don't like. Now, a stock could come back from death is what we call this area. They could be a candidate for a takeover. There's a whole lot of things, but the reality is there's typically better places to put your money than into speculative stocks, stocks that are under $5, closer to zero, maybe going out of business soon. Or if they don't go out of business, they're just going to struggle to turn a profit um, those are not stocks that I want to put my money with. So that's my thoughts on TRA. <laughs> that's my thoughts on TRA. So any comments, questions before we wrap up, what else would you like to see on free game Fridays or just in live streams in general? Let me know in the comments. I love doing this. I love coming on, connecting, talking with you guys, um, talking stock, talking shop. Um, I just, I do. I love it. I love what I do. I'm so blessed to be able to do this. I remember, I remember when I was working for, um, Verizon, I was working for Comcast and I remember saying like, man, if I could just study wealth all day, if I could just study money, it was a gnat flying in my basement, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> I was like, if I could just study wealth all day, I was like, Man, that would be one hell of a job if I could just all day just study money, study stocks, study how the movement is made, everything. I was like, man, I would love that. And some days when I'm working, because this is work, this is still work for me. Some days I'm like, ah, I don't feel like looking at the market today. I don't feel like going live. I don't feel like coaching or training and teaching. But then I remember like, no, I love doing this. I love looking at it. I love talking to I think with anything that you do, you have your moments. But then I'm like, man, this is so fun that I get to do this for a living. I get to study wealth, study charts, study patterns, study how to make money. So um, thank you. Because if there was no you, then I'd just be talking to myself which I'm kind of just talking into a black camera right now, but I can see your comments, which means we vibing right from the comfort of your living room. But if you wasn't on the other end, I'd just be talking to myself. And so I just feel blessed to be able to do this and have fun doing it. Like I was like, oh, I want to revamp the studio, put the logo behind me, two new monitors, the Mac, the iPad right there, put the comments up on the screen. Like, th that would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's do it. Let's get a new Mac. Let's get a new iPad. Let's do all the things. And we did it. And here we are. And um, I just always want to remember that I asked for this. I asked to do this. I wanted to be here. So, ah!
ah, let's have some fun with it. All right. Um, Jerry said, until it's federally approved, I don't think these stocks will matter much. Talking about the marijuana stocks. Charlene, may you want to look at Oxy? Is that Occidental Petroleum? Okay, we'll take a look at one more before we get out of here. Dwayne Bentley said, this is a dope Friday. Love the vibes. I'm looking forward to your orientation webinar next Tuesday. Yes, uh, my team is going to be kicking off the orientation. We're going to be taking you behind the scenes inside Power Trades University. Uh, if you've been waiting, let's go, man. Let's get in the game because we're making money over here. At least we're trying to teach you how to make some money. You'll earn back the cost of admission you know, I can't go on the record and say you'll officially earn it back, but I'm telling you the trades and stuff that we find it, you'll either lose less money than you would by yourself or you'll make more money than you would by yourself. That I most likely can guarantee. All right, let's take a look at one last one, Occidental Petroleum. Then we'll wrap up and go upstairs, spend some time with the family. Um, Occidental Petroleum is in what we call a predictable, repeatable uh, channel and pattern, and it's up near resistance. You can see right here, this is a beautiful um, channel and stock. One of my favorite patterns to make money off of because you can see uh, it runs up to resistance, turns around, runs up to resistance, turns around. Well, guess where it's at right now? It's right up here near resistance. If I was a betting man, which I'm not, I'm a probability and statistics type of man, I would probably look at considering put options because I believe the stock is going to come right down from 70 all the way back down to 57, giving you a one to three risk reward ratio or higher probability that it'll fall 13 points. And worst case is that it'll rise from 69 to maybe 75. So it can fall about 13 points. Uh, 12 to 13 points, and it could rise about five points. So almost put inside a one to three risk reward ratio. You really want it to be able to say if it rises five, then it could fall 15. That would be a true one to three risk reward ratio. But it gives you a place to put a very uh, a stop loss. So like when it comes up here, this is where I'd set my stop. So if I'm trading bearish, I'm like, I don't want it to go past this candlestick. All right, so same thing here. If I'm trading bearish, I'd wait till Monday, see if it you know stays down below this, but then I just don't want it to go above that. If it goes above that, then I'm wrong. As long as it stays below that, then I wait and see um, if my position can catch this full ride back down here to the 5750 level, at which point I would ring the cash register, take the money, Throw a big party, celebrate, and tell all my friends to go watch Jason Brown and the Brown Report. That's exactly what I would do. Something around like that. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, guys uh, and girls and girls, because I know the ladies are in the building. Or maybe you're watching the replay. If you're watching the replay, thanks for checking us out. Leave a comment below. Free game Fridays. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a little bit of fun. I hope you got a little bit smarter and knowledgeable about the stocks you asked about and about the market. And we'll see what the market gives us next week. But I think it's coming. I think it's coming with some uppercuts and some left, right, lefts. I think we're getting smacked down next week. That's just my personal opinion. Based on the charts and based on the momentum, I cannot see why we would rally. And if we do rally, you see what happens. We end up getting smacked back down. Ouch. You better own some puts. See you guys on the next one.